Hey guys, today we're going to be playing Prodigy today. So I thought of adding this as a regular gaming series. Since this game has everything to do with wizards. Alright, let me move my camera like this way. Alright. So the first place we're going to start is here. In my house, in the game. Obviously I haven't gotten the place ready for Christmas. Put your, always put your things here. Put the house, or in the house, you should always put the bed here if you're getting a house this big. All right. While I get everything ready, we're just gonna look around. Hey, just because Hanukkah doesn't, isn't here yet, doesn't mean we can't make it that way. So I've been getting the, I've been I haven't been playing this game much, so I thought I've added thought I added as a regular series. I don't have a Christmas tree yet. I'm gonna wait till um Howard Cornelius arrives. I think I got enough gem. I, think I got enough of the, the currency needed for that. All right. I don't have any book have any bookshelves for Christmas. So I'll check if um Cornelius has it when he arrives again. Avoid packing, avoid putting too much stuff in, the, in your house. Unless you have a bigger house like mine. Mine's kind of like a mansion right now. Why? Because I play, I used to play this game a lot. And everything I've had, had everything to do with Christmas. Alright, let's put the Christmas stuff here. We get Santa here. We'll give Santa some time. Don't forget the rug. I don't know. Looks like that's everything. So when last time I arrived, I got his duck, rubber duck, and the speech blanket. Alright. So we got my house. We can click that so if I could ask if wizards can. We're going to let them visit my house. Because I want to show this off to my friends. So, in this tutorial, you will always start at your own house. Except when I, my most recent account I created, I think it was a first grade level, because I got bored of the eighth grade level. Basically, now it's just review for everything. I've learned pretty much everything in this game. We're going to start at Lamplight Town. Alright, there's Wheeler. In the summertime, he doesn't appear. You get all the, you get all these wonderful prizes. There's another one just like this in the Academy. Which I will do that in a future video. I will not access the academy right now. Just to save time. Right now we're just given the places that don't require gems to work. Alright. Since I'm a member, I could spend twice. I also get these monthly membership boxes. Which is actually really cool. Come to come to think of it. But pretty much now I don't get any of the good stuff anymore. Before I was a member, I used to get all this good stuff like food. Now I just get stuff like coins. So as I play around, I get my currency. This is from the the Lost Island. They don't have it no more. For some reason, they don't. Probably because not a lot of people play it. So I use all this currency when I'm buying stuff. This is from Halloween. This is the upcoming... This is the upcoming event coming around. It's called Winterfest. Star shards. I don't know when star shards are going to be used, full, used again. So over the years, I've also collected a lot of this stuff here. Although it's not 4th of July, I'm going to do that. If you guys see my character, I'm Michael Starseed. Just like my account I'm going to create for the future. And we got the map here. His Dino Dig Oasis. So over the years, I've actually been collecting some stuff lately. Why is there a pop-up? Get that away from me. It is not time for pop-ups. Alright. So, when I was playing, I actually had all the, these dinosaur exhibits. They were all empty. But as I started getting more coins back then, I actually got these. 
I'm um, saying I can't show the names. And also Professor Skoog. Before he was a shop, which not anybody can get the shovel without having to earn it. They clearly buy it. But well when I was when I was just getting the hang of this game, they actually um Professor Sook actually allowed you to complete quests, the Dino Dig, which you can collect stuff. You can learn how to play. Obviously, I'm not going to play it. I don't want to waste any seconds trying to play that. So, around the whole game, you can go find quests starting in Firefly Forest, which will be at a future video. Alright, I also played at the Dark Tower before. Hello. Myra Shade. I completed the tower. So far, I haven't gotten any more quests. Let's see? For 100. Here's the gems I have collected, so we can go into the academy. I will show more about it in the future. Here's the merchants, which I can spend academy coins and get each which set, which I am not going to buy because I don't want to waste my currency. So you can also get this stuff. This is thrown of books, which I don't know how they made it. Alright, so once you collect all five gems, you can place them on these pedestals. You do not need to be level 100 to place them. Right. This one used to say level 25, level 50, level, 50, level 75. And wait, 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, every 10 levels or so. But since I'm level 100, I don't really need to do that. So when I complete the quest, I can go up here. There's Florian. The first warden was unlocked. So they didn't re they didn't update or release the academy until about September of 2018. I was one of the first people to ever see the academy in action. Because at the time, I was still playing it often. That was when it stopped working on my phone. That's why I don't play it on my phone. So apart from that, you can go to all these places, including this place. All right. The reason why I'm showing you this is because you can buy this stuff here. You can also, you can also buy some merchants. You can buy some stuff here. I have 836 of these, but I bought pretty much all these. But I don't really use them. Alright. So over here you can get some of the cool ones. These are one of the most common ones. Heading back to this one is one of the more um, ones that you haven't seen yet. These are one of the newer ones. There's Luma. I am not going to buy it. I'm not going to waste money. All right. So here you can also get your team. I got about 102, maybe more in this. All right. You can start your quest hit five by fours. We will do one question. Because I don't want to bore you guys with just a tour of the place. Alright. So if you guys like this video, I will actually turn it into a series. Alright. This should be really quick. I'm actually going to cheat. So, this game's all about learning math. Obviously. I, I'm probably going to get the Pokemon. So, let's actually get some bonus. Or should we make it always critical? Yeah, let's do a damage bonus. If I run out of- if I'm low on hearts, I will use a poach. I will use some kind of food. What you can use? Hmm, 184. Alright. Alright, we're gonna use a calculator. Let's open up my trusty calculator. All right, let's do it. You can use a calculator, but all right. But anyway, that's all for today. I'm gonna do the Firefly Forest one in a future video. Give it if you like this video, be sure to the like button in the face and subscribe to my wallpad. Yay! I look good. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.